Hey guys, we're live at the Light Camera Africa Film Festival at Smosan Center to screen the movie Delivery Boy by producer Nodash. And we'll be talking to some of our celebrity friends about how they feel about the movie. So don't go anywhere, stay with us. We're live at Musan Center and you know, we'll be bringing some of our celebrity friends to come and talk about the movie. So don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. How was the movie? It was amazing. I was so proud to be Nigerian tonight. I'm so proud to be a filmmaker, a Nigerian filmmaker. I kudos to everybody involved in that project. The acting, the camera work, the sound design, the story itself. Everything worked. It was an amazing film. I like I'm still trying to get over it. <laughs> it was beautiful. I'm looking for the words. It was beautiful, it was awesome. Tell me, see. It's rare for you to see a movie and then you're quiet all through, you giggle at some point, and then when you're done, you cannot help but shout. Like I said, this movie ended. There was no fast paced song. It was just a slow song, but we're yelling. It was a beautiful movie. It was a beautiful I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. it was captivating though. No? Uh, no, no. Uh, it's a movie that just gets you in tune. I mean, from the first scene to the last, it was you no know, catchy. Uh, it's perfect. It's the best movie I've seen this year, I'm sorry. It's the best movie I've seen this year. I mean, it's awesome. It's touching a lot of things in Nigeria, in Africa at large. So it's lovely. It's a lovely movie. I feel, I feel out of this world. I, I did it. Never seen it. This is my first time of seeing it. And I feel Nodash did something awesome. Fantastic. I enjoy it. Very nice. The actors, the characters, as in the, the straight line, everything is nice. Interesting, entertaining, and um, it's even educative and informative in a way. So, you know, it depends on the way you look at it. So, talk about misconception about religious, you know, in Nigeria, then the entertaining side of it. Everything is very nice. I like the whole package. Hmm. Thai. <laughs> it was awesome. It was awesome. I, I couldn't believe such good work could come out of the Nigeria. The movie was out of this world. You know, the, the, the scenes, the DOP, the... If you don't see it, you will not understand what I'm talking about. In the movie, one of the most interesting part of it was your ability to, you know, speak a certain language. That's Hausa. So, how are you able to do it? I am from the north and I'm Hausa. <laughs> yeah, so it came easier for me. I have learned to speak that since I was a child. So, it's my tribal language, basically. How many languages do you speak? Um, just four. A bit of Dutch, a um, little bit of French, house and English. That's all. I'm still trying to learn Yoruba and Igbo now. It seems too hard. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, not, I'm running away from that one. All right. So, Delivery Boy, what was the inspiration? The was inspired by. I mean, I heard about. I mean, we all heard about suicide bombing in Nigeria at some point, and my first reaction was, nope, that, those guys can't be Nigerian. But eventually, we found out that those guys could be Nigerian, and that just got me thinking along those lines. What does this mean? What, what could make somebody do this? And usually when we talk about these kind of things, we take ourselves out of the equation and we say, oh, the suicide bombers in northern Nigeria, but we forget that we have a part to play. And that was what I really wanted to explore, because you can see that the situation was caused, well, not caused, but it was contributed. Uh, one of the things that contributed to our mirror situation was Sister Dorcas. She's not a terrorist. Do you understand? And you probably passed by the orphanage today. Did you drop something for them? <laughs> Do you understand? So we, I just really wanted to explore the idea that we're all a part of whatever problem. So terrorism, armed robbery, all the bad stuff we see are really just like fevers, you know, symptoms of the virus that we are all a part of. So I, I wanted to make a film that explored the idea and that's um, The Delivery Boy. Good testimonies has been on the mouth of people. So how do you feel that you were able to make it such a great movie? I mean, it's all Nodash. I just came in to help him. It's 
the story, everything is him. And I got involved with it because I, I loved the, the, the themes he was uh, teaching on it. I love all the, uh, how do you put it now, all the messages that we passed across in it. It's something that needed to be done. And he took it up upon himself to do it. And I mean, I had no choice but to support him. Okay. People have been saying marvelous things about it. So um, Jemima, you were part of this project. So how was it like on set? It was, it was pretty cool. I got to work with people that I like. <laughs> so that always, I mean, when you're dealing with people you like, it always makes it easier. People who are very receptive, they are patient, and they're good at what they do. So yeah, it was, it was a good experience shooting The Delivery Boy. Right, so, um, if you were to recommend Delivery Boy to someone, what would you say about it? Um, go see it. That's it. That's yeah. Basically, yeah. yeah go different. see it. It's different. You go haven't see seen it. anything like it. Yeah. You maybe you think you have, but you really and haven't. ask around. Yeah. Ask around. <laughs> <laughs> How do I feel? It feels fantastic. Um, but most important, I mean, of course, when you make a work of art it's like your baby, and then you share it with the world, and they like it, so it feels good. But aside that, there's another feeling that comes. It's a feeling of validation. Now I have so, I'm so proud of Nigerians. I mean, I feel like this film screened in New York, in Paris, so it felt like, yeah, those are not Nigerians. Maybe they just like it because they're not Nigerians. But seeing Nigerians, you know, people always say, oh, Nigerians wouldn't like this because we underestimate the intelligence of the Nigerian. And this is a testament to the fact that Nigerians can take it. If you make it well, if you tell a good story, you shoot it properly, they will love it. Do you understand? And I'm, you know, excited about that. Right now, to be honest, I don't really know how I feel. I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful. Yeah, that's 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 it. On a scale of one to ten, how are you rated? I'll give it like a fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> ten point five. No, the movie was dope. You know, eleven. <laughs> ten. <laughs> and just it's it's eight and a half. <laughs> and that's the decision. That's A, a right? So let me say it. Perfect, 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 yeah. Um, because I'm a bit um, selfish and greedy, let's give it an eight. I think it was lovely. It, as if from the story, it's different. From the story to the, to the uh, work of art itself, the delivery was amazing. These actors, I could tell they, they push themselves past uh, beyond what they do on the norm. I mean, they had to learn how to start choreography and everything. Well, I'll give it an eight. Hey, guys. We just finished screening the movie Delivery Boy by Miladash and people had lots and lots of amazing things to say about this movie. And you know, this movie is coming to the cinemas very soon. It's also screening in various festivals in the country. So please stay with us. We'll be giving you live cheese about Delivery Boy. And it's a movie everyone should see. So don't go anywhere. It's still Broadway TV. Thank you.